I am standing today on a windy but beautiful day in the land of Israel. And I'm actually standing in a very famous place, the ancient city of Megiddo. You might not know a lot about Megiddo. It was a strategic city in ancient Israel and it was famous for being a place of war. You see, Megiddo sits as a major city in one of the few flat plains that cut through central Israel. And because of that, generation after generation, army after army, and king after king would conquer this city. Our archaeologists actually say there are more than 25 layers like a cake in the city of Megiddo. In the Old Testament, kings like Solomon and King Ahab fought here. All the way through World War I, uh, the Germans fought the Turks here. So this has always been a place known for conflict and war. A place where you never knew how the outcome was going to be. And maybe that's why as the Bible ends in the book of Revelation, this is the place where God paints a beautiful picture. You might not have made the connection, but if you ever heard the word Armageddon, it has in the middle of it the word Megiddo. Armageddon was a Greek way to say Har Megiddo or Mountain of Megiddo. And when God paints this picture of all the kings and evil forces coming together for battle on the Judgment Day, he pictures it as happening here. Let me read you these words from Revelation chapter 16. The demonic spirits go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them for the battle on the great day of God Almighty. They gather the kings together to the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. And so that's the picture. If you can imagine every evil army and force, everyone who opposes the name of Jesus gathered here for battle, all of their weapons, all of their strategy and intelligence, but do you know what happens next in the book of Revelation? Jesus just wins. <laughs> it would actually make kind of a bad movie because you think there's going to be this massive, great battle and then Jesus comes back from heaven and there's no fight because he's not just our loving Savior, he is an all-powerful Son of God. And so as the book of Revelation concludes, there's rejoicing and there's praise of Jesus. There's people like us who get to see the face of God there's no more pain or death. There's no war or conflict. There's no fear about who's going to win the next battle. Because when Jesus comes back one day, and we pray that it happens soon, all the struggle will be over. All the conflict that you feel with people out there, all the struggle that you have with sin in here, it's going to be over. And when you see him for the first time, you won't have to worry if he's going to win. He, he just will. I heard a story a number of years ago of a pastor who was trying to teach the complex book of Revelation to his Bible class. And he was running a little bit long, like pastors do. And so the church janitor was just waiting in the back, his Bible in hand, for the class to be done. When it finally dismissed, everyone left and the pastor was about to leave and he said, Hey Joe, to the janitor, what are you reading in your Bible? And Joe, who didn't have much of an education, said, Revelation. And the pastor smiled, knowing it can be a difficult book to understand. And he said, oh, oh really? Well, Joe, do you understand what it means? And janitor Joe smiled back, said, yep, pastor. Oh, really? Well, well, Joe, what do you think it means? And Joe smiled back at his pastor and he said two words, Jesus wins, period. <laughs> I love that message. Megiddo is a complicated place and Revelation is a complicated book, but the simple message of the gospel is easy enough for a child to grasp. Jesus always wins. He wins over our sin. He wins over every enemy. doesn't matter how fierce the fight, Jesus wins. Hallelujah and praise God for that. The beautiful message that we learn here at Megiddo. Earlier this year, I got to explore Israel. I'm sitting literally in the place where Jesus' feet touched. I saw some amazing places. The old city of Jerusalem, the Garden of Gethsemane, beautiful Nazareth, and the Mount of Beatitudes, Capernaum on the shores of the Sea of Galilee. And I can't wait to share these video devotions with you.